Hey guys, it's Lindsay with the blog Repurpose and Upcycle, and today I'm going to be sharing a simple review of the four best rated white cabinet paints. I'm getting ready to redo my cabinets, and I thought while I was at it, I would test a handful of white cabinet paints and decide which one was the most durable, which one worked the best, and I decided to do it with uh, big box store paints, not necessarily the DIY paints. And there's a few reasons for that. I love the DIY paints, they're great for furniture, but uh, I wanted to test something that, that anybody can find from a big box store. And the cool thing is uh, most of the, the Lowe's, Home Depot, all those stores, most of them carry specific paints for cabinets and furniture. So all four of these paints are what's called an enamel paint. Enamel paints dry to a super hard finish and they're really durable and they don't require a top coat. Now all of them are formulated a little bit differently. So I decided to, to give all four of these a try. Let me show you what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be making over my old 1980s pine wood cabinets. I'm gonna be putting some trim on it and then I'm gonna paint it with a white cabinet paint. Now, there's a ton of different white colors on the market. I have chosen these four paints that come with already ready mixed regular white paint. You're gonna see that all of them might be a tad bit of a different shade. Um, and so I'm gonna also test the durability. What I'm really looking for is a super durable, easy to use white cabinet paint. Now this post isn't how to paint cabinets. I have a few more posts on that. Uh, this post is really just comparing these four products. Uh, but I will give you a quick little breakdown. Before you begin to even think about painting the cabinet, you need to sand them with a fine grit sandpaper, clean them really well, apply a primer product. I know the Valspar product says no priming and no top coat needed. I would use a primer anyway. The top coat you can get by without, but always use a primer. The primer really helps bond the paint to the surface and it creates a barrier that will prevent any kind of old dyes to pull through. So say if your cabinets uh, were, were darker before this, or even if your cabinet is bare wood, any of those old wood tannins to prevent that from bleeding through the new paint, especially if you're going white, uh, you're going to want to put a primer on it. So after you have uh, sanded it, cleaned it, primed it really well, then you're ready to apply the paint product. I have already primed this panel and it's cleaned, it's good, it's ready to go. I'm going to show you guys how each four of them compare. Alright guys, I have gotten them all out and I've started to uh, stir them and a couple first impressions the the colors look very similar of course it's going to change once you put them on the board um, my first thought was this the Valspar is super thick whether that's good or that's bad I would think it would make it harder to apply uh, a lot of these seem to flow, uh, or their consistency seems to be the same. This one is the running, the runniest for sure, the Sherwin-Williams. Um, Valspar is the thickest, and these two are very similar in consistency. Uh, the Bear and, um, and the Benjamin Moore. So, here we go. Don't know if you can see but I've split it up into four quadrants. Uh, Benjamin Moore, Bear, Sherwin-Williams, and Valspar. I'm going to take my one and a half inch angle brush and we're going to start. I think I'm going to start with uh, the Bear. Here we go. I love how bright white it is. Okay, next I'm going to go to the Benjamin Moore, the 
The Benjamin Moore and the Bear are very similar consistencies. Definitely, these are definitely bright white colors. Okay, just in looking, the Bear, I can already see through it. But the Benjamin Moore has a real opaque consistency. You can't see through it. I mean, I don't see any brush strokes. That looks really good. All right, next we're going with the Sherwin Williams. The Sherwin Williams was definitely the runniest. And yes, I think the Sherwin Williams is probably the thinnest of all of them. All right, we're going to go with the last one, which is Valspar, and the Valspar was the thickest. Like, it's almost, that would be hard to put in a paint sprayer. If most people spray their cabinets. The Valspar, I'm going to tell you right now, is going to have to be um, thinned a lot. I'm going to give you guys a better look. Valspar, Sherwin-Williams, Benjamin Moore, and Bayer. Now these are still wet, um, and I'm going to give it, honestly, I'm going to give it until overnight just to give them a fair chance because some of them, the dry time is longer than others. So, but I can already tell the Valspar and the Bear are more of um, a warm white and the Benjamin Moore and Sherwin Williams are more of a cool white. It's day two, and these are completely dry with a second coat. Now, interestingly enough, one of them really sticks out as a clear winner for me, but I haven't done the durability or scratch test yet. And the, the color shades are interesting. Uh, the different color shades, I figured they would be uh, more similar. Now, uh, I don't think, I think maybe I touched on this a little bit yesterday, but the Benjamin Moore and the Sherwin-Williams are both a satin. When I looked at reviews, the satin in these two cabinet paints uh, was the best rated. And in Bear and Valspar, it was a semi-gloss. So these are different sheens. But like I said, I looked at what had the best um, reviews. So uh, right off the bat, you can see the Benjamin Moore and the Sherwin-Williams is more of a cooler, darker white. The Bear and the Valspar are bright whites, and these are the ready-made white colors. This isn't a specific color, it's just the ready-made white colors, which by the way, you can have these colors mixed into any color white you want. So let's get back to the actual paint samples. Let's talk about these a minute. Now yesterday, I probably did apply these a little too thick, but it gave me a good idea of really how these paints will self-level and the Benjamin Moore self-levels beautifully. Uh, Sherwin-Williams comes in second. I can still see the brush strokes. Other than the Benjamin Moore, you're probably gonna need to put these in a paint sprayer to get a super smooth finish. Now, I did not sand in between coats. I really wanted to see how they self-leveled. I wanted to see uh, durability, but if you use these, in a paint sprayer and sand in between, you can probably get a really smooth finish. Benjamin Moore would be your go-to paint if you're not going to be using a paint sprayer, okay? Especially at, especially on existing cabinets, uh, you can pull the doors off, but most people, you know, you can't, most people don't spray the cabinet itself. They're gonna, they're going to manually paint it with a roller or a paintbrush. So Benjamin Moore, as far as self-leveling, I mean, I can't even barely see that it's there. All right, scratch test. Let's go to the scratch test. I'm going to take 
a flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to test this a little bit. All right, Benjamin Moore honestly came up pretty easily. All right, Bear. Pretty easy, but the Benjamin Moore scratched down to the wood fairly easily. The bear has not. Sherwin Williams. Sort of the same as Benjamin Moore. It scratched down to the bare wood fairly easily. Valspar. Yep. All right. So, now I'm going to take my fingernail. Ooh. All right, Sherwin Williams does pretty good as far as the fingernail scratch test. Benjamin Moore, actually, that does really good. Like, on the Sherwin Williams, I can feel where I go from the primer on the cabinet to the paint. The Benjamin Moore, I can't even tell where I'm going from the primer to the paint. That's really durable. The Bayer, yep, I can tell where I'm going from the primer to the paint. But it's still doing a pretty good job. Valspar, okay, Valspar is actually really durable. Okay, and if you look on a side view, um, Okay, on the Sherwin Williams, you can see where I I have taken my fingernail and scratched that. On the Valspar, you can barely see it. You can't see it very well. On the Bear, yes, you can see where I've used my fingernail. And the Benjamin Moore, I can't see it all. So honestly, as far as durability, I would say Benjamin Moore. I'm scratching pretty hard and that's not even, I'm not even seeing it at all. So Benjamin Moore as durability, um, then I'd say Bayer, Valspar, Sherwin-Williams honestly did not hold up that well. I can see exactly where I'm scratching. I'm going to do a little clean test. I have some red wine. I'm going to spill some red wine on here. Okay, now I'm going to take some cleaner. Now I'm going to clean it and see if I can tell a difference. Hmm. So Benjamin Moore, I can't tell a difference. Uh, Bayer, now interesting, Sherwin Williams, I feel like the tannins from the red wine have almost stained where I took my fingernail and scratched on the Sherwin-Williams. The rest of them did really well. All right, guys, this about completes my little experiment with the four best types of white cabinet paint. Uh, overall, guys, I feel like Benjamin Moore kind of blew it out of the park as far as uh, durability as far as self-leveling. I mean, I even put the paint on thick with a paintbrush and it looks amazing. Uh, durability, I could scratch it and nothing came up even after I poured the wine on it. Uh, it still, it wiped up easily and nothing showed. I would say second place, I would probably go with I think it's a tie between Sherwin Williams and Bayer. Uh, the Valspar was super thick and uh, it didn't self level at all. I see a ton of brush strokes. Now, like I said, maybe in a paint sprayer, it might be a whole different ball game. But if you're using a paintbrush, and I might do another video on the paint sprayer with these, but with a paintbrush, um, definitely the Benjamin Moore, the Benjamin Moore outshined all of them. I hope this video has given you an idea about 
uh, you know, which cabinet paint you need to use, and the, the stock colors that come with the ready-made whites in the Benjamin Moore, the Sherwin-Williams, the Valspar, and the Bear. Thanks for watching, guys.